That's Ernie. right, that's right. Yes. Um, why are you making the, this wonderful thing here? Well, I think not only am I inspired by Ernie and his wonderful works, not only 32 years ago, but today as well, but I think one of the greatest ghost stories we have of our time, and even before our time, is A Christmas Carol. Right. That's actually a oh, ghost sure. story. It yeah. is. Yes, it's from the Victorian time, and it's just, it was such a wonderful story, and everyone knows the story. It's ghosts of Christmas past, mm -hmm. present, and future. So I'm gonna show you guys at home how to make something inspired by this, and you know, I think I'm gonna put away that, Christmas past. You know what, that was written back in 18. 43, wasn't it? Yep. Kim was here, she would say you remember it yes. well. Yes. Was yes. that a good year for you, Mark? I would remember it well. Well, I'd have to ask her because she was there. Um, oh, wow. So what the big trends back then were what? <laughs> well, in the Victorian era, we're kind of looking now at a steampunk design. Oh, which that's is, in. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's very, very in. It's like funny. you can find normal accessories for the steampunk era. And what that is is taking Victorian times and really doing this trend of the steam engine and what, yeah. what was run on steam before electricity and it was their idea of what would happen in the future. Like if, mm -hmm. if we lose all electricity, what do we go back to? Wow. The steam, right. yes. So that's kind of what's what has inspired this project. So you put that, A Christmas Carol, Queen Victoria, I don't know if you know this, mm -hmm. but he, she actually, he, she actually made the modern Christmas tree, what we know today and what we celebrate today. Um, this is what we're making. This is what we're making today. We're going to catch, that's the ghost of Christmas past. I don't know if any of you are um, haunted by your past. No, but he knows what a ghost uh, looks like. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've met him. Uh, he's, he's safe away now. But, okay, yeah. good. Good, good, good. You got started earlier today, so let's I take a look. I did, yes. Okay, so we just started with blue or green spray paint, and this is a little cardstock. I freehand drew this ghost, but we have it available on our website to download. So draw a little ghost. I did watch Ghostbusters last night, the old one, just to be inspired. And I went a little simpler than the ones you fought. Uh, then you cut that out, take an X-Acto knife, and pull, take out the little parts to really give it that ghostly feel. And then I took some fluorescent green, and I kind of did an ombre, where I really did dark at the bottom, went all the way lighter at the top. Now that's a glow-in-the-dark spray paint. I did about six coats of this. Ooh. So you can just go back and forth on either side. My hands are gonna glow in the dark tonight. <laughs> They're full of this. But then, once it's illuminated in the house, then when the, you turn the lights off, that's when this is gonna glow. Oh my gosh, so how do we so, finish? Wow. Okay, Ernie, if you would do the honors, I know you've trapped a lot of ghosts. Have you yes. untrapped? A um, lot of ghosts. Well, I've tried not to, but they get yes. out they anyway. Get, okay. no, don't pull that so, lever. Yes, this we, uh, actually just this screws off. Screws off, yep. okay. I think it's probably less technical than what you did okay. in the movie. We're just going to put that little ghost right okay. there. All right. You bend his arms. Then, bend his arms back, and then okay. lock him in, Ghostbuster. We'll, lock him in. <laughs> right. Perfect. Lock and oh my gosh. There you go. Yes. Now we have it. Exactly, and I want to show you guys at home how to do this yeah, and how creative you can nice. be keeping this Victorian steampunk look. So now look at this. Uh, Ernie, mm -hmm. last year on the show, I got married. This was one of my centerpieces. Wow. So we don't need that anymore. We turn it upside down. This becomes our base. This was in the backyard. It's a little saucer for, for, a your, for your plants. Put that there. I want you guys to take your kids to the hardware store and to the craft store and just pick out a bunch of weird things that you think would be cool. Like this, or a spigot. And we put all of these things together. You can see that is this. Right. So you get the chance yeah. to be really super creative well, with this. Yeah. With different things. Yeah. Now, I'm taking this skewer. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this cool little design. See that there? The coil? Right. Yep, the coil. Oh, yeah. You just take regular wire, wrap it around like this, Keep going. Age. You can use a pencil, a skewer, or anything. And let me tell you, this a lot of this came from the creative mind of Dave Lowe. You guys hear us mm. talking about him? He yeah. is that amazing guy who makes everything possible. Wow. In the now that you can put that in, this is just a regular hose for a, there you there go. a tank, actually. Look at yeah. that. Wow. See it? Look how cool. And then so, put that all the way in, and that will become. But when you that. take your kids to the store, you ask them to what? Yeah, how do you know? Look what at to a get? what's this like a rivet? Uh, Think I mean, outside I mean, a, the box. Uh, yes. A grommet. That is a grommet. But These are wooden plugs. See it in plugs. a different way. See it in a different way. Yes. Let's use it for something different. Let's take this. Spray take, paint it. Yep. Spray paint it. Oh. Put it on. Is I mean, that a Christmas? That's a Christmas. That's ornament. a Christmas ornament. Wait, These are wooden these, dowels. Are these the grommets here? Yes. Yep. All you do is take this. And you stack them and, and stack them and glue them. Look at that. 
Mark, you think outside the box. Well, you, you have to have be a extra creative oh, for this, I think. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, when you're, I, spot, you're seeing these things on shelves and you're uh, not really putting them together. Yeah, well, yeah, trying really to recreate what Ernie did 32 years ago, I was watching. I was like taking notes oh, and saying, wow. what can I do that the Ghostbusters did back then? And it kind of reminds me of your costumes. Yeah, yeah, which I didn't have a whole lot to do with. <laughs> you didn't make your you costume. You made it look good. But, uh, but, but you yeah. probably were like, what is this thing I'm wearing yeah. and what's it supposed it's, to and be? And how much does it weigh? <laughs> <laughs>